What's up? We got Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, Episode 7, Marooned. So this episode, star so this episode starts off with, with Rip watching a hologram version of his, of his son and wife. And then Stein comes in and Stein mentions about... Stein mentions about... Stein's like, hey, we, 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 we're we trying to catch Savage, but he's like, they've gone cold. The Savage, like, they can out, the trail, the trail for Savage has gone cold. So then, what happened, so then, so, so then they get a transmission, so then they get a transmission from one of the cats of the Acheron, and then the, has gone down, so they sneak onto the ship, but they realize that that she was just kidnapped. And time pirates are now on the ship. And they're like, hey, we'll give you back. If you give us your wave rider. So, yeah. So they have Mick and Jack and Rip all captured. Captured. Capturenitos. And I can't even, I don't even know if I said that right. So, so, yeah. So, so they decide to go. So they decide. So the rest of the legends decide to make a team. Decide to make. Ray, who I still don't like, is the new cap. Is the intern captain of the wave. Why couldn't it be someone likable like Sarah? Why do you have to be the annoying Ray? The show decided to make the annoying mistake of making the annoying character captain, intern captain, the wave rider. And so, yeah, so he keeps making, so he keeps calling them and making, like, you know, quotes, like, making, like, secret, like, messages that, that like, activate the wave rider and, the, like, activate the wave rider. So. So. So, so yeah, so there, so with this, this episode feels filler. It feels filler. So Ray decides to go out, and he almost dies when Kendra saves his life with a super strong punch, with a mouth to mouth punch, but it wasn't. Mouth to mouth, she's separating him, and and just like Ray's the worst. Yeah, so Kendra and Car Kendra, we know Sarah and Leonard are, are freezing to death. You don't hurt, you don't hurt my TV ch child show, and they and they keep asking about how you, and they keep asking. Yeah, so yeah, so then Snar. So yeah, so then, so Rip and when Rip, Rip and Mick are getting into a fight, and he's like, and Mick's like, hey, hey, he's like, hey, I'll get you your, I'll give you the wave rider if you can get me back home, so I can tell, so I can go back in time and tell Rip, so I tell Rip that I don't want to be on this adventure. So he's like, so he's like, hey Mick, and he's like the. The ship's all yours, guys. And he and yeah, uh, and and Ray's like, you son of a, you son of a b a t c h. And they get into, a, you son of a, and they get into a fight, and they, they get into a fight while, while boring stuff is happening. It's just we also get flashbacks to Rip and his wife's time before the legend, before when they were just dating. I'm, I gotta say, it feels like a filler episode. Like, they couldn't do a regular episode, so they had to stuck a filler episode. Remember that episode of Arrow Season 2, or, or Arrow Season 1, or Arrow Season 2, where it felt like a filler episode? This Legends episode feels like the exact same thing. A filler episode, where they could not choose what episode to do. Like, they could have Star City 2046, next they're, stuck, they're being invaded by Time Pirates. Boring. Filler 
episode. Filler. So they decided to so back with the fight, they decided to attack. Well well They knock out Mick and yeah, so they're like, we know we're Vanel Savages. He's in like in nineteen four nineteen fifty. He's like in the fifties. So yeah. Yeah, so they're like we can't we can't we can't maybe we should send Rory back to twenty sixteen. And he's like, or at the time of this filming, 2022, it was 2016, when the, and he's like, he's like, yeah, but we sent him back, everyone will be in danger. His sister, his wife, her sister, Lisa, Clarice, well, you know, Clarissa, why did I say Clarice? I made a sign like to the Liam reference. Even though I've never seen that movie in my entire life, I made a reference to it. Clarissa. Laurel. You better not hurt Laurel. You better not hurt Laurel. Or I will, in Arrow Season 4, or I will go screaming. I will quit Arrow Season 4. Not really, but I will quit Arrow Season 4 if they kill off the second kind of good character, worst character, good character that is Laurel. So they decide, so they decide to... So he's like, he's like, hey, he's like, hey, he's like, so, so, so he, so he takes him out to a snowy, a snowy place and he's, and he's like, we, we got a team making, he's like, where's the team? What got you, you train, and he's like, main Minds change, Mick. And he's like, you're not a hero. You're the same punk kid that I saved in juvie. One of us is gonna make it alive. So then we see him powering up his freeze gun to freeze Mick, and that's just where the episode ends. As I said before, this episode isn't good. If it, it's not good because it feels like a filler episode, they do nothing. It feels like an episode where you just have to sit. Wait for them to do something, but ends up not paying in the end. That's the episode. Right? It doesn't feel if it doesn't feel like they're doing anything. Like last episode, had to have that cool venture and start and start seeing 2046, 2046 Star City. This episode has them being captured by time pirates. How do you go from a cool adventure to an adventure that feels like they're just stalling for time and having a filler arc where Mick turns bad? I'm not saying this episode's bad or anything. I'm just saying it's not that good. It's a filler episode. We get Kendra and Ray kissing, but I don't like Ray. I like Kendra. I think Kendra is better off with Jax because Jax is not annoying. Jax has an ego, but he's not as annoying as Ray Palmer is. Look over there, that big show. Look over there, that mustache, is that, is that Big Show? That's what they're probably doing. Look over there, that guy in a motorcycle. Yeah, so, I just found this episode really, really boring. It's not that, it's not that good. Like, the episode starts off pretty good with mentioning Star City 2046, but when you get to the prison set, when you get to the time strip stuff, the time pirate stuff, just stop watching. It's boring. It's a boring episode with a boring premise and a boring conclusion. That just finds you being zonked out of it. It just doesn't feel, it feels like filler. That's one thing that I don't like, like when I'm watching television shows. I don't like going into an episode and having to deal with filler. Filler is not fun. And that's what this episode feels like. It feels like they're trying to mix a filler episode into a Legends episode. And it just does not work. Filler episode. No. This episode gets a 6. This episode gets a 5. Because even though it's not that great, it's a filler episode. Please skip this one. I'm so done. Bye. Bye filler episode.
bye, Phil. Okay. Zoom. Okay. Bye, fella. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Pew, pew, pew.